Hey gang, I thought I'd check in and share a quick shrimp rip, shrink rip with uh, the Compass Games latest edition of their uh, Paper Wars magazine. And uh, depending on when this goes out, this video goes out, you may have already read an article about, uh, from me in regards to magazine games, magazines, wargaming magazines, and the plethora, plethora of them that exist. Would you say I have a plethora? We have a plethora of Wargaming magazines. And uh, in fact, Paper Wars is one of the ones that's on the cusp for me as to whether or not I, uh, I, I keep subscribing. And so uh, with C3i magazine being the gold standard of uh, delivery now that they're using Amazon for fulfillment and Battles magazine being the I guess production quality, you know, champion uh, in, in the marketplace today, Paper Wars falls somewhere in between the two of those. Uh, it, it does have very, very good content. It has a uh, fantastic lineage. It has been around for a long time. I guess I probably shouldn't be showing you my address, should I? Here's my first issue, right, with this. I got a paper envelope. I got no... Uh, no cardboard supporting this, no waterproofing, no bag to store it in. And quite frankly, while this game arrived and this magazine arrived in perfect condition, I've had others that have not. And I gotta tell you, it kinda, it kinda disappoints me. 34 bucks, I'm not happy about that. I want, ship it in a Ziploc bag, please. Take the time to put a piece of stiff cardboard in the envelope so that we don't get this uh, counter sheet being folded over or counters being damaged or the map being damaged. It just takes away from the enjoyment of the whole thing. Okay, so I have, uh, so let's just get on with the, uh, the look at the game, look at the game and the, the magazine. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the game because I know nothing about it yet haven't read anything about it, I will come back to it once we've had a look at it. It's, this is a topic I'm very, very interested in because uh, Multiman Publishing and Adam Stark, where they kind of dropped the ball with, uh, I think, War of the Suns, it's called. Massive errata, game in, product, in, in uh, testing and development for a, a decade or so, and the game was still, you know, arguably not finished. This, uh, one map, one, one set of counters, is trying to do the same thing that uh, War of the Suns is trying to do with a bunch more counters. So, you know, this might be an interesting game. Who knows? Artwork on the map looks uh, pretty pretty juicy, pretty interesting. Let me just uh, try and, oops, I've got a little catching here. Uh, so we're gonna have to turn this around. Get China up the right way. And I'll pull this back and let you have a look at it. So that's a, you know, there's a mountain range and some green hexes. It's not the most inspiring uh, detailed look at the terrain, but it's there, right? Uh, thematically, it's trying to pull in the, you know, via fonts, etc., and the artwork. It's trying to pull in, you know, the, the villages and stuff and towns that look uh, pseudo-Asian. And, of course, the, the counters are obviously uh, doing a great job of um, giving you a feel for the era. Okay. Always, I, I, I shouldn't say always, uh, more often than not, there are uh, excellent reviews and commentary, well, mainly reviews, actually. There's very little commentary in this magazine. Uh, so, you know, uh, th this, this magazine is focused on, on a, as a review magazine. Sometimes it's very current. Sometimes it, uh, there's reviews of games that we haven't seen in... Uh, you know, that have been released for several years. But it's nice to, it's nice to get a review. And generally speaking, we find that uh, the, the writers are pretty decent. So let's just kind of skim through the magazine, check it out. So look, here, here's a uh, review from Doug Murphy on uh, Tobruk, Operation Crusader. That, this is uh, from uh, SNT 278. 
So nice. The production quality, by the way, has really gone up with Compass Magazine, with Compass Games taking over Paper Wars. The artwork has improved significantly. The layout's much better. The photography is uh, uh, streets ahead of what it used to be. On to Paris. I'm, I'm not going to judge on the, on the articles. Like I said, I haven't read them yet, but I wanted to give you a look inside the magazine just to get a feel for it. Some beautiful artwork here and, and photography. This, this is, looks like it's all from uh, uh, promotional artwork. I don't know how they got that or did that, but it's pretty well done. This is a pretty lengthy article actually, so pretty nice. Uh, Battle of Mobile Bay, high flying dice. You know, I, I struggle with uh, HFD, but I, I, I haven't played enough of their games to really come into uh, any strong opinions on where they're at. But nevertheless, uh, they do present a set of titles that you just won't find anywhere else, which is great. World of War on s &T, another s &T magazine game. Done by Devil, uh, reviews done by Devil Nich Nicholas. Doesn't give it very high marks by the looks of it. Bloody April, published by uh, GMT, everybody knows that. Reviewed by David Nicholas. I have spoken at length with buddies about this game and uh, the this is almost like a lifestyle game. This is almost like the ASL of uh, World War One aircraft. Um, and it looks like the, uh, the reviewer did not enjoy it either. Okay, then we got the game. Let's see, it's, what are we talking here? 10 pages of rules, so it looks pretty straightforward. Assuming that the rules are written well. I don't know how you get all the political considerations and uh, factional play resolved in 10 pages of rules, but God bless them for trying. So this is a game that I will definitely get to. It's one of those ones that uh, Paper Wars is a magazine that, that the games, I, I like them, but I've only played two or three of them. I haven't played enough of them to really, you know, get on it. Uh, John Gorowski, he's writing about uh, the game by the looks of it. Victory Point Games uh, review for a magnificent, magnificent style. Okay, so oh, so here's a kind of editorial. Nicholas Escubi is writing about his Paths to Hell game. I'm really disappointed for him because I think he had a pretty cool system here with this game, and uh, and, I, and I don't think it it's where it needs to be. It, the command and morale rules just are awkward. Awkward, awkward. Okay. Review by of Madison's War, Mr. Madison's War, big ass map, point to point. You know what I think about point to point games, so we'll just keep moving on. Big, big article. Nice job, dude. I like the effort here. Good stuff. Okay. The lamp's going out. That's more advertorial. Strike of the Eagle, Academy Games Review from Kevin Reed. That's an older game. So there you have it. Not, uh, not a super long look at this from me today. I uh, just wanted to kind of get on this because I have a bunch of stuff going on and games on the table. So um, let's call the wrap. That's Compass Games issue number 83. I think this game is going to be interesting. I haven't read anything about it yet. I don't do cons in world, so I can't uh, chime in on what the commentary is like. And I don't think I've seen a board game geek uh, uh, page for this yet, but I'll be checking for it on board game geek. All right, guys, take it easy. Uh, we'll look forward to talking to you real soon.